And in this video I'm going to show you how to extract acapellas from songs with the phase inversion technique using Audacity. It's a freeware so uh, you'll find a download link in the description of this video. First of all you have to know that this technique only works if you have the vocal mix and the instrumental version of your track. The vocal mix is the original track with no vocals and uh, the instrumental version is the version with no vocals. Lots of producers sell the instrumental version so you'll find it easily for most tracks. I'm going to extract the a cappella from Feel So Close by Calvin Harris. So uh, let's say you have both versions, drag it and drop it in Audacity. then you have to synchronize it perfectly so uh, you have to zoom in and uh, you're going to drag one of the two tracks in order to synchronize it with the other one Okay, now it looks synchronized, so uh, if we play it together, that's how it sounds like. I feel so close to you right I wear my heart up on my sleeve like a big deal. Okay, so now what we're going to do is that we're going to invert the phases on uh, one of the two tracks and only one because if you invert the phases of both tracks you'll get nothing so uh, let's select one track and uh, let's invert it now if we zoom in uh, we notice that the phases are upside down on this track so uh, now if we play it together that's what we get I feel so close to you right now it's a force field I wear my heart up on my sleeve like a big deal you love sounds good okay so um I've inverted this track because the inverted phases uh, they they add and uh, the addition of inverted phases equals zero, which means no sound. In theory, the only sound that remains is your a cappella, but in practice, both tracks are not perfectly synchronized, and the quality is not perfect, so uh, you also get parasites. The more synchronized it is, the cleaner your a cappella will be. And uh, well, if you like the results, just uh, export your a cappella. Click File, Export. Well that's it, next, uh, next time I'm going to show a few techniques in Ableton, so uh, if you don't have it you can stop watching the video now. I hope you enjoyed and um, if you found this video helpful don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you have Ableton, open it and load your acapella. We're going to try to remove those parasites, so um, first of all make sure that your Ableton BPM is the same that your a cappella. Mine is 128. Uh, and uh, well I don't want those time warp markers so uh, I'm going to get rid of these. Uh, and uh, 
you can get rid of these easily by dragging your acapella, dropping it in your view se session view, and um, you click this twice, and that's it. No time warp markers. So um, let's EQ the track. I feel so close to you right now. Uh, we're going to use the EQ8 and uh, the spectrum in order to to see the level of the different frequencies. I feel so close to you right now. It's a force field. Let's get rid of those low frequencies that we don't need. I feel so close to you right now. It's a force field. You can read in your spectrum that the frequencies that we don't need are the frequencies that are under 130 hertz. I feel so close to you right now. It's a force field. I feel so close to you right now. It's a force field. As you can see, we can also reduce the, the volume of uh, the frequencies that are around uh, 2.8 kilohertz. I feel so close to you right now. It's a force field. I wear my heart up on my sleeve like a big deal. Your love pours down on me, surround me like a waterfall. I feel so. And we can get rid of those very high frequencies as well. I feel so close to you right now, it's a force field. I wear my heart upon. Well, now I'm going to show you how to use the multiband dynamics, so uh, it's a cool effect. As you can see, your, your track is divided into three parts the lower frequency, the mid frequencies, and the high frequencies. So as I said earlier, we're going to set the low frequencies under 130 hertz. Choose the below mode. This mode permits you increasing or decreasing uh, the level of uh, what's under the level of your bands. I feel so close to you right now. For example, if I want to uh, decrease the level of my low frequencies, I uh, I increase the level of my band. I feel so close. And now all what's under the band can be reduced. I feel so close to you. You can also uh, decrease the input level. I feel so close to you right now. It's a force field. As you can see, it muted the lower frequencies. I feel so close to you right now. It's a force field. I feel so... Now uh, set your bands level so that the vocals exceed and uh, reduce the volume of what doesn't exceed the bands. I feel so close to you. I feel so close to you right now, it's a force field. I feel so close to you right now, it's a force field. When the volume is under the level of the band, it is reduced to 25% because I've set it to uh, 0 0.25. Now I'm going to show you how to use the gate effect in order to get rid of the parasite sounds between the vocal parts. I'm talking about this. You right now. You don't want this on your a cappella, so um, uh, use the gate effect. I feel so close to you right. 
uh, the gate lowers the volume of your track when when its level is below the threshold so now when your track volume is under minus 12 decibels it is reduced by 40 decibels we don't want any sounds but the vocal so just mute what's under the threshold I feel so close to you right now when the volume is not constant you get a glitchy a cappella so let's increase the release up to I feel so up to around uh I feel so close to you right now it's a force field I feel so close to you right now it's a force field around uh, 130 milliseconds I feel so close to you right now it's a force field I wear my heart up on my sleeve like a big deal. Your love bars down, I mean surround. Perfect. What we get sounds pretty nice. You can add reverb and delay if you want to, and well, that's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed. Um, now you know how to make a DIY acapella. If you found this video helpful, I would greatly appreciate your subscription. Feel free to rate this video and to leave a comment and uh, stay tuned for more videos.